Hello there, it's Wednesday and that means I'm going to do another Aldi food review. This week I've decided to actually pre-purchase a food item beforehand because I knew I was going to be a little bit busy on Wednesday, so I'm actually recording this on Tuesday, but obviously the video is not coming up till today. Today I have Nancy's... Nancy's? What? Today I have Clancy's naturally flavored butter popcorn. Microwave popcorn, that is. As always, this product will be rated based on appearance, meaning the packaging, could I find it easily in an aisle, etc., etc. Then I will rate it based on the taste or the actual quality of the product. And finally, it will be rated on the price, meaning what you paid overall for it, not including tax. Usually I buy popcorn that costs $2 or more for uh, six, yeah, six popcorn bags per package. So I can already tell you that the price is probably gonna be a four or higher, but it all depends on the other factors as well. Also, because this is popcorn, I'm gonna have to take a quick break to watch something, I don't know, television, movies, whatever, and don't you dare tell me, don't you dare tell me you eat popcorn without watching some type of media. And if you do, you're weird, and that's okay. All right, so I'll be right back. I actually paused the episode of Bob's Burgers that I was watching for a bit because I was just constantly eating this popcorn and not realizing that I'm almost out. So I wanted to show you what it looks like. Looks pretty good, tastes pretty good. I don't even realize I'm finishing the bag. So far, this is looking to be a good review. Well, that was a pleasant experience. I really enjoyed the uh, the taste of the popcorn overall. I enjoyed the fact that I finished the whole bag about halfway in the episode. That's a good, you know, 12, 13 minutes. One extra thing I like about Clancy's is that it only takes a minute and 50 seconds to get a full bag of popcorn. So let's go to the final thoughts. Let's talk about appearance. So Clancy's has a bright, red packaging for this popcorn, which is very nice. I, I like the the font uh, that they've used for their brand, for the actual name of the product. I like the red coloring. It's bright. It stands out. I could find it easily on an aisle. Nothing wrong there. It even has instructions on the back to show you how to pop the popcorn, which is very nice. It has the nutrition facts as always, etc, etc. My only issue with the appearance is on the front of the package. With the font, I feel that it is a little too small for consumers. If you're like me and you want to get things fast, you may look over the fact that this is butter. This is not movie butter. I was expecting movie butter, like a fool. But uh, for its taste, it was great. So, you know, honestly, I think having a bigger font on the front and having less of the actual popcorn printed on the front would be the way to go. After discussing the appearance about this product, I'd have to give it a four out of five. So good job, Clancy's. Next, let's move on to the taste. What can I say? It tastes really good. I, I didn't even realize that I killed a whole bag before half of the video I was watching was done. So obviously it's going to get a five out of five. Again, good job. And now we're gonna talk just briefly about price. Taking into consideration that the appearance is four out of five and the quality is five out of five, I already knew before even eating this popcorn that the price was gonna be four or higher out of five. And yes, for $1.69, getting six bags of popcorn for this quality, I have to give it a five out of five for price. So again, Clancy's, good freaking job. That means that this product, this box of popcorn, gets a total score of 14 out of 15. Holy crap, it's the best we've had yet. Congratulations. Highest rating I have had so far. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll be back next week with a new product from Aldi. And if you want to see any other products that you're not sure about from Aldi or any other store, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get to them and review them. Until next time, see you later.